and gents, I had to hurry and get on here real quick and let you know you have until tonight at midnight to get put in for the all expense paid shed hunt. It is the last one of the year, so you need to get on it right now, right after you watch this. Go over to risingshed.com and every $10 that you spend is an entry. If you sign up for the t-shirt subscription, it is 50 entries and plus it's double entries this week. So 100 entries to sign up for the t-shirt subscription. We have new hats over there on the website, new shirts. So you need to go check it out and I hope you guys enjoy this What video. is going on guys and welcome back to another video. Ryan and I have made our way east. <laughs> we have gone east and traveled quite a long ways today. We left at four in the morning, traveled all through the morning and got here around noon. And we've been hiking for maybe a half hour. And I saw it with my naked eye and I'll show you guys what I saw. Right there. So from here, it looks like a brownie and it looks like a little four point. So that is the first shed of the trip almost fell right there but first head of the trip and only a half hour into the day and we have like seven hours of daylight so hopefully that's that's just a good sign of great things that's going to happen over the next three to four days so let's go over there pick this up and uh, hopefully find some more walking up on it right now heck yeah it's a good start won't complain with that Nice little brownie. Heck yeah. Very nice. Let's match them up, put them on the Scout to Hunt app. Maybe uh, find some more. Just gonna be hiking all this country. And as you can see, there's a big flat down there. I'm just gonna glass all this. Maybe I can find another one. Well, might as well pick them up. There we go. Nice little four point. We will take that to start the day and start the trip. It's been out here a little bit. It's kind of faded on this side, darker on that side, but it's a brownie. Let's go. So I still have this in my hand. Walked maybe 50 yards. Got another one. A little chalky three right there. Well, it's another shed. Get them on the Scout to Hunt app and then glass all this stuff. See if we can find some more. Well, decided to peek over this edge and sit down and literally just threw my glass up and just glassed up a side-by-side -side set. Sorry, it's really windy, but heck yeah, I'm pumped. Probably gonna go down there. I might actually look up here and look off the other side and go around and then come back to this see if I can find something else back over here. I have plenty of time, so heck yeah. All right, I'm about like 75 yards away from him. And from what I could tell up top is it looked like a big back fork, but I'll get over to him and we'll see what it is. It may be hard white or brown. It's hard to tell up there, but I know it's a four point. Let's see. There we go. Broken, side by side, nice little four. Not giant, but you gotta love when you find them like that, side by side. Heck yeah. All right guys, have our right side. He's been sitting here a little bit. And our left side, nice little set. We're not gonna complain with that. Heck yeah. Well, that's four in the old, old curl. So I have three brownies, four sheds total. So it's a good start. Let's find some more. Guys, I just walked up on a cool one. Oh, baby. I'll flip this around and show you, but this one's actually kind of cool. Very cool deer shed. That's getting bigger the closer I get to it. <laughs> Look at that thing. What? That is a sweet brown. That's actually a decent size antler right there. We're gonna have to match that guy up. Look at that. He is cool. Where's your other side, buddy? 
Well, we're gonna have to put him on the Scout to Hunt app and uh, do some zigzags, try to find his other side. But look how that ivory tip right there on his G4. Super cool. Short main beam, nice little eye guard. Pretty color. We need to find his other side. All right, guys. Let's pick it up. <laughs> Heck yeah. Look at that G2. Dang, that's like 17. Look at that G4. What a baddie. And he's brown. We need to match that guy up right there. Heck yeah. That's a sweet one. He'd just be tall and boxy. Let's find his other side. He's cool. Full curl. It's finally getting a little bit of weight to it. That's what we like to see. We got some brownies on there too. That is beautiful, beautiful. We have five strapped to the full curl. We have four brownies too. And that last one, he's a good one. Let's find some more. Almost walked right by that little guy. He's old, but still a shed. Little two, we'll take her. Find some more. This country, try to match up that brownie that I just found. So finally sitting down and taking a break. It's about six o'clock, only about two hours left of light. Hurrying, grubbing, getting some water and Gatorade in me and admiring all the sheds. I have six so far and I'm still a little ways from the vehicle, so maybe I can find some more on the way there. There's sign everywhere and I just ran into a bull. That was pretty cool. He was laying down right in front of me, so I tried to go back behind him so I didn't scare him. But it's been a solid day. I won't complain. And we have three full days left out here, so could get interesting. Hello guys, welcome back to day two. We are out here with Ryan, Preston, and Corey. We're looking for elk sheds, but we'll find deer sheds as well. Just started our hike, and I'm in a lot of elk sign. Like, there is elk sign all over the place. So, we're in right where we need to be, and we're just gonna be going through a whole bunch of different stuff. The country transitions so much out here. It's actually kind of crazy. We'll be in like some pine stuff, then open yellow grass and then sage, and it's kind of wild and it's pretty cool. It's also glass bowl country, which I love because I love to glass up my sheds. I glass up a lot of my sheds that way. I'd probably say 65% of my sheds, I find glassing. Utilize your glass. We're just getting into the country we want to be in. Hopefully we can find a few. I just was told that Preston and Corey just found an elk shed, so we're in them already. Could be a very, very good day. So this is good. Currently in a whiteout. Can't glass across, can't see. So, awesome. Met up with Preston and Corey. Turn around. Preston has a couple brown elk sheds. Lucky dog. And a wounded one. And a wounded <laughs> But just met up with them and left them for two seconds and found my first shed of the day. Little hard white three. We'll take that all day though. Very nice. Didn't go skunked. Still early. Still early. Still have a couple hours. As long as the snow stops. Yeah, changing up the strategy, going lower. <laughs> figure something out yeah we've been high all day and finally dropped down and I was sitting there waiting for me 
but these guys are gonna head back to camp well actually head back to town yeah and then they'll see us tomorrow yeah might well, change up whole area tomorrow yeah and then maybe find a few more on the way out just was trying a new area can you guys see that right there got ourselves another deer shed not what we're looking for we like elk but pick them up Ooh, that one's actually not bad that's actually a decent four right there dang heck yeah we'll take that all day that's a nice buck right there nice little shed nice to match him up find some elk sheds Alright guys, pick this bad boy up. <laughs> That's actually a nice antler right there. Oh, I'd actually like to match him up. That's a big deer. Nice little eye guard on him too. Good fronts, good backs. And he's a hard white, hardly any cracks on him. Dang. That's a sweet deer. Yeah. We gotta match him up. That's sweet. Let's find him some more. All right, guys. So I did a big, big circle looking for his other side. Like went clear up on top and everything. Came back, was like, let's try to find him. And I just glassed one down in the bottom, probably like eh, I'd say that's 80 yards away. But I went up, straight up, right here, and it's back behind me. So that's why I didn't see it, but I know I have an antler spotted up, but let's go see if it's the other side. I hope it's him, because this is a decently big deer. So I'll turn this around, and it's just right there. Hell yeah, let's go get it. There it is, in the sage. That looks smaller, shoot. That's not him. That is not him. Well, now there's two bucks that I need to find right here. And I'll put him on the Scott the Hunt app and you can see how close they were. Well, shoot. Now I gotta find the big dog. Let's pick him up. Just a little guy, little four. Where's the big dog? Where's his other side? It was just right back there. Where's the big dog? Let's try to find him down here. 